Hello, this is Barbie. I'm uh, back today to do a short video. I'm saying it's short, who knows, but anyhow, I decided I would need to do, uh, <clears throat> get some uh, of my um, Sorry Silk uh, dyed up. So I thought people might be interested in <clears throat> what products I was using. And um, it's not really a, it's not really a, what would you say? technical process here. It's just uh, a matter of using different sprays. So I also thought I might dye some of this uh, twine that I have. It's just a uh, plain twine. And I think what I'm going to do is do a variegated uh, spray on this just to kind of get some idea of um, what that might look like. So I've got numerous sprays that I'm going to test out. Um, the one I'm going to start start with first is a um, butterscotch by Color Wash and Ron Dyke. Now all of these, I believe, are water. This is a Tim Holtz brand fine mist spray. I, I believe they're all water. Yeah, they're water based. But once they're dry, they're permanent. So let's test this out and see what happens. Now, I think it looks like, according to how it's taking this, that I probably need to wet it first. So I'm going to wet it. Let me get my water. Okay. Just plain water. I'm going to dunk it down in there and get it good and wet. And then squeeze it out, I think, so it's just damp. I think it'll absorb the paint uh, a little bit better. Okay, here we go. I need to keep my, you know, find a place for my water. Okay, let's kind of not spread it out as much as I had it before and see what happens here. It's already kind of cool color. Okay, there's the uh, Anirondack Butterscotch. Now this is Delusions Fresh Lime. It's a very bright uh, color. Okay, there's some Delusions. Um, let's try some purple. This is Delusions too called Crushed Grape. This one I was unplugging it well ago and I had it pointed to my face. Guess what? Yeah, not a good thing to do. <laughs> Learned that the hard way. Okay, now this is looking pretty variegated, but I think it needs more color. That's a cool pattern down there, see? Okay, let's get something else and we're gonna spray the whole thing with that. What color do I want? It's London Blue. Let's try this. This one here is pretty. It's a Moon Shadow Mist. It's Lind Lindy's Stamp Gang color. And I know this is kind of an iridescent color. So yeah, it's going to give it some iridescence. Oh well. Looks my spray is stopped up here. It probably has some of that. That was the problem with Lindy Stamp Gang. They had beautiful colors, but uh, for some reason, they would always get the stopped up. So I'm going to just pour some on there. How about that? That works. If all else fails, improvise. Okay, it's going to be interesting to see what this looks like once it's dried, because right now it looks like kind of brown poo-poo. <laughs> I'm not so sure I like that one. Okay, I'm going to squish it together, kind of get it incorporated, and let me see if I can uh, blow dry a little bit of it. You might want to mute your 
sound. If you don't want to hear me blow drying. Okay. Try this and see. That is so thick. I don't think, I think that'll be a waste of time to take that long to do it. I'll have to just come back once it's all dry, like I did when I dyed my fabric, and um, show you what it looks like. So we'll put this over out of the way for right now. And find a place to lay it. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. Okay, I had this ch chiffon. I was going to try and see how that might work. I'm going to try this first without, with the moon, moon shadow mist. I think I'm going to try it first without getting it um, wet and see what happens since this is such a porous fabric. See that's all gunked up in there. It's got mica in it, but probably a little bit too much is what's wrong. We can still use it. We don't have to spray it. Let's see here what we got. It's got green mica in it. So I bet you it's going to be pretty once it's dried. Right now it just looks like brown. Okay. Put that to the side and see what happens. I think I'm going to take it uh, a little bit of paper towel and squeeze it out a bit. See, look at all that green mica. I shouldn't have done that. Hmm? Don't do that. I think the, that takes the mica off, so wrong thing to do. Okay, let's see. I've got these, sorry, silk. Let me flip that over. I don't want to just get this all muddied up, if you know what I mean. I think I'm going to take those out. Ooh, I don't want to throw those away, though. I bet you I can use those later. Okay. I'll save it those for later. I think what I can do is... Um, I think I'm going to just do one at a time, one color. I think it'd be a smarter thing to do. Now this is electric blue, and this is uh, tattered angels, what they call glimmer mist. There you go. Let's see what happens with this. So it looks like. If you want a lighter color, then you would get it wet first, damp, let's say. And <clears throat> if you want a darker color, then just do it where it's, um, until it's saturated with the color. So there's just straight dry color. Looks like a really pretty color, though. So we'll set that aside. And I'm gonna get this on my okay. All right, that was uh, electric blue, tattered angels. Okay, I've got a color here. If I remember right, it's really pretty. It was called London blue. Set most of that up. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Again, I'm not going to wet it. This is Dilutions. London Blue. Woo! Yeah, that's blue. And I bet that'll be pretty dry, though. At this point, I wish I had my spray bottle of water. I think I do here someplace. 
Come to think of it. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. Don't have much in it. Just straight water. I'm gonna go get some water real quick. I wanna, I wanna dilute that down a bit. I think it works better to put a little bit of water on it. it kind of dissipates it. Okay. Okay, that's London Blue. Looks good next to my blue gloves. Yeah. Alright. Now, let me get the most of this off. Got this one here it's called melted chocolate I think I've used this one before okay now on this one I think I'm gonna wet it first that on my hands look like so we're gonna have some blue in it oh yeah that's look kind of looks like a vintage photo although it's well, the dilution spray but it's made by Ranger so it's another thing I was gonna say you know I didn't do this before but I think it's important probably to after you use your sprays just stick it down in your water and it cleans the little sprayer off and keeps it from gunking up, which is what I have not done in the past. So you see the problem you have. Yeah, that's going to be pretty when it's dried. Okay, let me get my. Let me stick it over in the corner. Got a little baby wipe here. Try to get some of that off of my glove so I don't transfer it onto the next one. If I wasn't filming, I'd go over and wash my hands every time, but it's going to take too long. So if you don't want to transfer it, that's what you need to do. This is just a try for to see what happens. Okay. I'll get some of this. Try to get a better. Okay, on this one, instead of sticking it back in that water, I'm going to lightly spray it. And it should make it kind of take it at uneven um, degrees. Okay, put that one. I just used, uh, well, we already used crushed grape, I think. We used that one. This is what I used the other day, and it goes good with my gypsy um, cowgirl um, journal I'm making, so I'll try it on that and see what happens. Oh, this is Heidi Swap Color Shine, and it's called teal yeah so you're going to get a little bit of variegation on that because everything that when I sprayed it on there lightly it didn't soak it it just allowed it to move a bit so that's going to be really pretty, I think, when it's dried. See how that, that right there didn't get all the way on there? So if that bothers you, this would be the time to spray it again with a light mist. 
see what happens. Okay. Put that over there. Now, what was the other one I have not tried? I've got several more over here, so I think I'll pick up that. And I'm going to save these. I bet you you could let that dry and use it on your pages. Look at that. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. You can decide that later anyhow. I can always throw it away, right? Okay, let me put a little bit more paper towels on there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Rather than paper towels, if I can find it here real quick. Oh, here it is. I'm going to get some jelly paper. This is what I used the other day to make those really pretty um, papers. It's uh, waxed deli paper. One side is not as waxed as the other side. So, um, let me get a paintbrush because you have to paint it on. Okay. So I'm going to do is throw my ribbon on there. Now, let's see. What color do I want to... Let's try this color. This is a Heidi Swap Oops, color shine sea foam, which is kind of a really pretty mossy green. Okay, this time we're going to do that. We're going to take some clear water and do that. Kind of give you a variegated look. Yeah, I like that. I'll put a little bit more water on it so it isn't quite as much of a um, distinction between the dry parts and the wet parts. There you go. I'm gonna scrunch it together. That's a really pretty light green and I can see the variegation in it. You may not be able to pick it up on the camera, but there is variegation in it. So I kind of like that the best so far as far as getting, you know, a bit of a variegation to it. Okay. Now, oh, we were going to try test this out. Move that out of the way. I don't want to totally get that contaminated. See what happens when you do this. So this is just deli paper. This is what I did the other day and it worked out really good. I've never tried this before. Just playing around to see what happened if you sprayed that on there like so. Now I'm going to flip it over. See the other side isn't doesn't have much paint on it so let's see on this side let's try it this nah don't be so weird Barbara okay I'm gonna put some more of the same color on there boring I know but that's what I'm gonna do and all I'm doing is spreading it out you know what I mean kind of dispersing it which you totally wouldn't have to I don't guess but just to cover the whole thing and see what happens. Now, this one corner there looks like it needs a bit more. Yep, that's good. Oh, you know what I bet would work good on here? Tim Holtz oxide sprays. Yeah, yeah, we might have to try that. Woo Now, I'm going to dry this real quick. I think this dries pretty quickly.
Yeah, it's getting a, a bit of a shimmer to it as it dries. I think what you could do too is like spray some other uh, colored paint down if you wanted a variegated look. Maybe we'll try that and um, yeah, I'm going to try that. Alright, let's see here what we got. Yeah. See it? Hope you can see the shimmer on it. Okay, let's see what happens if we take some of that teal, same brand, Color Shine, Heidi Swap, and this is teal. And I'm going to spray it on there like so. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, water on there to beat it up a bit. All right, and we're going to do it kind of like. You would with, uh, I don't know, like we do, you know, mixed media stuff. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. I didn't get quite get as much as I wanted in one corner. So we'll just flop it back down there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, a little bit more. Not a lot. There you go. Now, there's one corner right there. It needs a little bit. Okay. Now, we just lay that down there. And let's blow dry this. You could do this also on a jelly plate, I bet. But for those who don't have jelly plates, well, you know, this will work fine. Now, if you wanted more texture, I bet you if you scrunched it up and then did that technique, it'd probably even look better. I hope you can hear me when I'm talking <laughs> above this, this uh, dryer. But, you know, what can I say? All the thoughts are running through my mind, so I thought I better document it really quick. Otherwise, I forget what I said and what I thought. And worst comes to worst, I can go back and look at my video. Good thing about videos, you know. Not only does it help those out there who uh, would like to try something like this, but it also documents it for the future. So if you think, well, I like that technique, but, it, but I don't remember how I did it. So it's beneficial to... Um, video, especially when you're experimenting. There you go. Yeah. I think I might have to use that in my journal. It looks really good. Yeah. Okay, since we're experimenting, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to crunch it up. Now, I'm going to open it up. It's got all these little crunchies on it. Okay, look at that. That look cool. Alright, let's see. We want to make it kind of look maybe like it's old crumpled up piece of paper. So, we need to use maybe some of this, uh, yeah. Was it chocolate? Yeah, I think it was chocolate. Okay, we're going to try the chocolate. Get it out of there. Now, these little mats down here are just our um, mats we use that um, when we're doing crafts. You can wipe them off. Okay, there's that. And to lighten it up a little bit, I think I'm going to put some of this um, butterscotch in. This 
Uh-oh. Get in frame. Gosh. Color wash butterscotch. Now I'm going to put a little water on it. Okay, hold on a minute. I've got to get this stuff off my fingers. Okay, where's my water? Here it is. All right, no guts, no green stamps. Let's go for it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. You get the edges a little bit more. I'm going to spray a little bit of water on it to kind of make it disperse a bit. Now, let's see what happens. I think that may be a little bit too dark. So, instead of going further, I'm going to Some water on it. Yeah, there you go. You get some, some more water on it. And I think that's gonna work better. There you go. Yeah. See what happens. Okay, keep losing my wipe. All right, we're gonna blow dry it. See what happens. Oh gosh, it's hot in here. Maybe I'm just having a hot flash. Turn up my AC a bit. Down rather. Okay. I like that. I think that chocolate has a little bit too much red in it for my likings. So I think maybe next time I wouldn't use that brown. I would find me a different brown. All right, before we finish this, I want a little bit of this moon. What's it called? Moon shadow. Even though I can't spray it because it's stopped up. I'm gonna slop it on there. Yeah, I'm seeing green. Hope you can see that. Oh, that pretty green color. Kind of a verdigris. Okay, now, give that a little second. Yeah, it almost looks like, um, what would you call it? Uh, brass. I think it's brass when it like turns that verdigris color. I like that. The back looks cool too. I'm trying to dry off the back side a little bit.
I can see all kind of uses for this. It would be really pretty to use this also if you're collaging. Just for some color. It would be cool to um, stitch it onto some vellum because it's flimsy, of course, or, or stitch it onto some plain craft paper. Um, ooh, the back is even prettier. Look at that. I like that. Now that was just pressed down on whatever was on the paper, so you know, it's all very random. But you can still use the same colors and get basically, you know what I'm saying, the same technique. And get a semulance of the same uh, color combination at the very least, you know what I mean? Yeah, look at that back. That's my favorite. All right. That gives you a good idea of what you can do with a little bit of uh, deli paper and some sprays. Yep, this backside definitely is my favorite. All right, enough of that. So you got an idea of using deli papers. Okay, now get rid of that. Someplace. Ooh, another thing you could do too is you could lay deli paper down like this and take you some twine or string or something and just lay it down on top of that and then spray it. So you'd have a pattern on there. You could use um, uh, stencils. Yeah, all kinds of things you could do. Okay. Now, I'm going to run over and get, I'm bored with these colors. I'm going to run over and get a different color. I'll be right back. So we got some Lemon Squeeze, Delusions, Lindsay Stamp Gang, which is probably stopped up. It's called Flat Fabio. They had different types and it's called um, Hibiscus Rose. And then this is uh, Squeezed Orange, which is a Dilution spray. They're very uh, strong sprays. This is a Lindsay Stamp Gang, a Flat Fabio, Mango Mania, uh, Sunset Orange, and this is a uh, Anirondack color, color wash. And this is a Perfect Pearls Heirloom Gold. So I'm gonna try this Heirloom Gold first. And I'm not going to even mess up, I'm not, I'm not going to even change my, or wipe this down. Okay, let me get it, keep all of these separate. What I used before, sweet orange. And squeezed orange. Okay, I think that's separate. I always use a brownie gold color. So I'm going to try the same technique I did before with these sprays. Well, I'll be darned it did spray for a time anyhow. And use these in ages. Alright, let me get a little bit of water sprayed on there.
I got some really pretty looking uh, fibers coming from Oliver Twist. Thank you, Carol Parker, Oak House, uh, Oak House Journals. She's been very helpful in um, recommending some really, uh, really good outlets for um, the sorry silk and fibers and stuff like that. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Because you know, there's so much out there, and then you see, you see um, someone who has done a beautiful journal, and they have this lovely sorry silk and you think oh man I've never had any of that kind yeah that's how it works you know we help each other out to be obsessive compulsive but that's how we like it okay I think that's gonna draw off really pretty yeah I don't think I'm gonna put any more on that it has some hints of green in it because I rubbed it around which I think is cool yeah but it'll really show up all right, let me see. See that hint of green in there? I don't know if you can see it in the, with the camera or not. But it has like gold flakes all in it. You can see it reflecting from the light. That's gonna dry off really pretty. Okay. Here's one and I'll, I'm gonna just leave it on there. I, I like to be spontaneous, so I'm leaving it on there. Okay, this one, Hibiscus Rose. I don't think I have a pink one. We're going to try this. This is Lindy, Lindy Scamp, Stamp Gang, excuse me. The Flat Fabio, I don't believe, has any mica in it. It's more of just a, uh, am I doing that right? It's more of a, just a basic color, the way I understand it. So we'll see. We'll see because it doesn't come out. Ah. I love sprays, but after a while they just... They just, let me get some fresh water. Right. I'm gonna wet this because this looks like a very bright color. Not that bright's bad, but you can always spray it down and you know what I mean all right because I'm gonna have to pour this stuff on oh that's a pretty color yep I like it I think what I'm going to do with this one is, though, since it doesn't have mica powders in it, I'm going to squeeze it out to help it dry off a little bit better. There you go. I think that's going to be good. Yep. Okay. dry off really pretty there is some white something or other here on my mat and it seems like it came off but I don't think that I think it's just uh, some uh, flake I mean I think it's dried um, what do you call it oh, my mind's blank yeah white stuff that you use I think that's what it is gesso I'm trying to think well, that's a pretty color all right I have to see if I can work on my sprayer. It takes too much of it when you pour it out like that. Okay, there's that one. And let me see if I can find one more. Let me cut off some of this. This is the chiffon I bought. And well, I'm going to use one more. I don't have an orange. 
so this is a mango mania this, if this i tell you what i'm gonna do whichever spray is the one i'll use whatever sprayer works oh well i guess this is the winner well, that's a pretty color i'm happy about using up some of these sprays you know what i mean get rid of some of this stash so i can buy more Now see, this is a, a lot tighter weave fabric, so it doesn't absorb as quickly. And on this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just to see what happens, I'm going to wrap it all up and squeeze it tight. And if I can find me a rubber band, oh, what am I going to do? I don't find a rubber band with this gloves on. Okay, hold on a minute. See if I can get enough of this off that I can dig real quick. Because I know I have rubber bands all over here. There's some. Alright, come on. These are little rubber bands I, for your hair. Not that I need rubber bands for my hair, but I got them for making flowers. So we'll use them for this and see what happens. Okay, I need to get it all scrunched up really good. Okay, this last one I'm gonna kind of put in tighter. All right, there you go. Well, okay. I'm going to say goodbye for right now and go dry all these off and then um, I may just come back in a few minutes and go ahead and do one more little quick video to show how everything turned out. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun and I hope you come back and play with me when I'm doing my experiment, experimental uh, projects which usually is what everything I do is, experimental, which is what I like to do. Alrighty, this is Barbie. Thanks for coming by, and we will talk to you later. Hope you're having a wonderful day, especially if you're crafting. Bye.